Well, Joe was just splitting there, and I told him, I'm delusional, and I'll talk to him anytime, man. He's welcome <laughs> to that. My mother was delusional. She had delusions of grandeur. She thought she was going to make a little gentleman out of me and George. You know, that was, that was a delusion, that man. It, it ain't worked yet. And I got to tell you, Joe, in the joy of censorship, 20 years, he's been banging it out, and I'm proud of him. I just embrace it. I censor myself. That's why it's called Kian Blank and Sabe. I can do that stuff without even thinking. And aren't we all delusional, not just my mom? And guns and NASCAR, you got with guns, and you like bad ideas about guns. I'm going to tell you something. Guns and NASCAR are getting together. They're going to have a 500, and it's going to be in Texas, appropriately enough. And that'll be nice. Bring your gun and have some fun, son. Down here in Houston, I think it's going to be. And I'm thinking, why not have guys riding shotgun in the true sense of the word? And they can lean out and do in a windshield or shoot out a tire or something. Get some guns with the people in the oil. Have a day. Have a day, man. And we were talking about that English muffin being a way to kill people. And that's very true. And I wondered when they had Gun Appreciation Day why they don't have Knife Appreciation Day. People get knifed all the time. Machete Appreciation Day. You should read some of the news down in Trinidad and Tobago and places like that. They don't buy no ammo. They just get a machete and make little pieces out of big pieces. And you're off and winging. And then I had to think about corporations and fetuses. They go together like ham and eggs. And I thought, well, you know, if a fetus becomes a person right at conception and all, that's an interesting concept. When does a corporation become a person? At what point does a corporation suddenly become a person? They should ponder that out at the country club. And I want to get along with the book on that, dude. Uh, abundance. I don't see abundance when you got 70 billion people running all over the place. I'll tell you about abundance on that. You might have 70% of them with cell phones, but you can't eat your cell phone, Jack. Mm. It's like when those Japanese imports first came over in this country and people were buying American and all. I used to know biker dudes and stuff who really disrespected that stuff. And a popular bumper sticker out in Reseda, California was, you can't, oh, hungry? You can't eat your Toyota. So grow up, and we got to get back and buy American, man. You buy t-shirts that say Kien Blank and Sabe on them, they're made in the USA. And it was <laughs> saxophone day. Let me tell you about saxophone day, Gus. You made me so happy, bro. Because before the program came on, I played three tunes in a row. I played Stagger Lee by Fats Domino, then by Lloyd Price, and then by Sleepy LaBeef. And it's really nice to set them up, boom, 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 one after the other. But the background singers were singing all the time, go Staggerly, go Staggerly, when he gets his 44 and shoots the dude who hustled him in dice. So guns have been around forever. It's part of our, you know, trip here. We had it with Irish guys out in Virginia City. Patrick Carlin, as usual, you made sense out of the senseless. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Joe Ayola. Thank you, Susan Rosen. Thank you, Gus Mancini. Yeah. Owen, thanks for pushing the buttons. If you keep your dial tuned right here to Radio Woodstock, Ron Van Warner will keep you company all morning.